7 foot long beavers, 10 foot long sloths, 3 and a half ton woolly rhinos, and 7 foot tall camels. What do all of these giant ice age creatures have in common? They all once roamed the earth for hundreds of thousands and in some cases millions of years and suddenly went extinct all around the same time period. During the period of extinction 11 to 12,000 years ago, an estimated 30 to 40 million megafauna were killed. During this time of turbulence one half of all megafauna on earth became extinct. In this video we will discuss the reasons for their eventual extinction and some background on these gigantic creatures who dominated the earth thousands of years ago. The most iconic and largest ice age animal was the woolly mammoth. These elephants were adapted to the cold and windy conditions of the tundra and they had a thick coat of fur, a hump of fat on their back, and long curved tusks. They could weigh up to 6 tons and stand over 13 feet tall, making them one of the largest land animals of all time. They were herbivores and ate a variety of grasses, shrubs, and trees. These gigantic creatures spread far and wide across the globe and were able to thrive in harsh conditions. Several million of these creatures were thought to have lived at their peak. Another impressive creature was the short-faced bear, which was one of the largest carnivores of the Ice Age. These bears could weigh over a ton and stand 11 feet tall when they stood on their hind legs. They had a longer snout than modern bears, which may have helped them to catch faster prey, such as the giant horses and bison that roamed the grasslands. They also had longer legs and a more slender body, which gave them a more agile and efficient running gait. This would have been a truly terrifying creature to have seen in the wild. Giant ground sloths were another fascinating group of animals that lived during the Ice Age. They were herbivores and had long, curved claws that they used to pull down branches and strip leaves. Some species could weigh over 6 tons and were up to 20 feet long, making them the largest sloths that ever lived. This also makes them one of the largest mammals to ever live also. They had a unique body shape, with a short tail and a wide body that allowed them to balance on their hind legs and reach high into trees. The saber-toothed cat was another impressive predator that lived during the Ice Age. It was not actually a true cat, but a member of the Macheritan family. They had long, curved canines that were up to 7 inches long and were used to pierce the flesh of their prey. They were also muscular and agile, which allowed them to take down large animals such as mammoths and bison. Some species of saber-toothed cats could weigh over 800 pounds and were up to 5 feet tall at the shoulder. They were also not the only large cat during the Ice Age in North America. There was the American lion which was one of the largest cats to ever live. It weighed up to 800 pounds and stood 4 feet tall at the shoulder. Fossil evidence suggests that the American lion had a wide distribution across North America, from Canada to Mexico, and it likely went extinct around 10,000 years ago. The dire wolf was another impressive predator that lived during the Ice Age. They were larger than modern-day wolves, weighing up to 150 pounds, and had a stronger bite force due to their larger jaw muscles. They lived in packs and hunted large herbivores such as bison and mammoths. Mammoths were not the only creature that adapted to the colder climates. The woolly rhino was a large herbivorous mammal that lived during the Ice Age. They were covered in a thick coat of fur and had two horns on their nose, the larger of which could grow up to 3 feet long. Woolly rhinos could weigh up to 4 tons and were around 12 feet long. They likely fed on grasses and other tough vegetation, which they could grind down with their strong teeth. These absolutely massive, awe-inspiring creatures were plentiful during the Ice Age and all suddenly died out around the same time period. How could creatures that were so adept in challenging climates die out because it became warmer? Some of these animals were around for millions of years during turbulent climactic periods. Some conventional scientists say it was the work of humans systematically killing off millions of these megafauna. However, the numbers of humans were very small and the size of these creatures was immense. Humans are very intelligent and adaptable, but thinking that with spears prehistoric humans could kill hundreds of thousands of these creatures is foolish. The only basis for this hypothesis is that when the first humans cross the land bridge into North America, we see mass extinction. But to reason that small bands of humans could kill half of all megafauna on the Earth is absurd to say the least. Some researchers say that it was climate changes that ultimately killed the megafauna that roamed the Earth in such numbers. This is more close to the real reason, but if we look at how these creatures are found in the fossil record, we will see this is not right either. Many of these giant mammoth bones are found in giant pits of gravel, with their bones shattered. This indicates that a massive flood washed over the world and deposited these huge mammoths, as if they were small pebbles in a creek. We have also found mammoths with one foot stuck where they were standing and the rest of their bones ripped away and deposited elsewhere. This shows that whatever happened was sudden and violent. These bones are often found in huge quantities together, which indicates that they were all swept away together. The theory backed by Randall Carlson and Graham Hancock among others is the Younger Dryas Impact Theory. This theory suggests that perhaps a comet or multiple comets impacted Earth's ice cap and began a rapid heating and melting of the ice. 
This heat caused meltwater pulses which were unimaginable in scale and would have wiped out millions of square miles of animals and vegetation. Iridium and nano diamonds were found at this layer across the globe, which are telltale signs of an impact from space. This theory would explain the violent nature of the bones found and their abundance. Proponents of this theory suggest that perhaps Earth was bombarded by comets for many hundreds of years, which caused massive extinctions and heating of the Earth out of the Ice Age. Conventional scientists still do not know how the planet began to heat up and leave the Ice Age either. While well, the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis is one possible explanation for their extinction, it is not fully known yet what caused these animals to die off in a relatively short period. Randall Carlson and others are continuing the research to prove or disprove this theory about Earth's past. There are people today that are in the process of cloning a woolly mammoth and bringing the species back from the dead. I am excited to see what comes of it and what comes of the ongoing research. Thanks for watching.